Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and recently we have received a number of requests for customers that are looking to add an emergency or informational announcement at the beginning of their calls. Like, so for anyone that calls into their PBX, this is very easy to do in free PBX, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. But first, why would customers want to do that? Well, a number of reasons. If your business is closed, if your business has different hours, if you're having longer hold times, if you just want to give general instructions, like for instance, if you're a restaurant and you're now only doing takeout and you want to give takeout instructions to people that are calling in, this is where you would want to use something like this. Let's take a quick look at my desktop. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we have a basic inbound call flow. Now this is what I have set up in my SIP testing server. We have incoming calls. They go to a time conditions where we're checking for our business hours. Then we're, if it's during business hours, we're playing a greeting, you know, thank you for calling. If you know your party's extension, blah, blah, blah. Then we're ringing a ring group and then we're going to voicemail if the ring group doesn't answer the call. So very, very simple, but this is actually how a lot of businesses are set up. Now, if instead you wanted to add an emergency announcement, you would want to do it right here so that every caller, regardless of time of day, so before your time conditions, every caller hears this greeting. Okay, so let's make a quick test call into the system. We're going to do send, and this should basically hit my IVR greeting and then hit the ring group. Thank you for calling our company. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Otherwise, please stay on the line for the operator. Three second timeout. Ring my phone. We have not received a valid response. Please wait while we connect your call. There we go. Okay, so you get the idea though. We and are that, unable to get Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that actually, that Allison Smith voice that came up, that's something you can actually disable that I just forgot to disable in the IVR. Normally what I would do is just send that call straight through to the ring group rather than saying, you know, you didn't enter anything or you timed out, whatever it said. Okay, so let's go to free PBX. Here we are. This is the free PBX dashboard. And from here, the first thing that we need to do is record our emergency greeting. So we're going to go to admin and we're going to go to system recordings. We're going to say add recording. And then we're going to call this uh, emergency greeting. Now you can record this a number of ways. You can record a WAV file or MP3 file and upload it, or you can record it right through the browser, or you re can record it through your phone. All sorts of different ways to do that. In our case, we're just going to record it over the phone. So I'm going to enter in my extension number. And then we're going to hit call. My phone's going to ring, and then I can start talking and saying the greeting. Thank you for calling our company. We are still open during the current ongoing situation. However, we are monitoring events closely and will update this message as necessary. Most of our employees are now working from home, so please excuse any additional wait times because of this adjustment. Thank you for your patience and understanding. There we go. So now we name the file. So we've recorded it. It's sort of sitting in a you know copy-paste type of queue and uh, it's waiting for us to name the file and then finally save it. So we're just going to call it emergency greeting and save. Now we can listen to it right here. Thank you for calling our company. Thank you we for calling our company. We are still there open during the And then we're going to go ahead and click submit because that sounds good to me. Okay, so now we have our greeting recorded. Now we want to do an announcement. So we're going to say applications announcements. And an announcement is basically just play this greeting and then move on to the next step, right? Move on to something else. And if we look at our IVR diagram, we can see that here's where we're going to insert our emergency greeting, our emergency announcement. And then the next step we want it to go is our time conditions business hours. So that's going to be the destination for this announcement. So basically play this greeting and then go to time conditions business hours. So we're going to say add an announcement, emergency greeting. The recording we're going to use is emergency greeting, the one that we just recorded. And then we're just going to leave everything else default and we're going to say the destination is time conditions, business hours, submit. 
Okay, so now we have our announcement. Now we need to go to our inbound route, right? So for the phone number that people are dialing in on, it now needs to go straight to that emergency announcement first before it goes to time conditions, whereas right now it goes straight to those time conditions. So we're gonna say connectivity, inbound routes, and then we're gonna edit. See, we can see the destination for the inbound route is time conditions, business hours. We're gonna edit that. And instead of time conditions, business hours, we're gonna say announcements, emergency greeting, submit, and then we're going to apply. And then of course, emergency greeting will then go to time conditions, business hours. So we're basically just inserting this extra little step in the IVR call flow. Okay, so let's go ahead and test it out now and see if that's working. We're gonna redial one more time. Thank you for calling our company. We are still open during the current ongoing situation. However, we are monitoring events closely. There we go. And so that was my emergency greeting. That is now the first thing that people are gonna hear when they call in, and then it will be redirected to sort of business as usual. Uh, okay, so I hope that's helpful for anyone who is looking to set up the same kind of thing. If you are not looking to set up the same kind of thing, you probably should be. Uh, you know, all these businesses that are closing down and they have weird hours and employees working from home, oftentimes you need to give your customers some information so that they understand what's going on and they know how to work with you and your business. All right, so there you go. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.